Hey, you're not supposed to be here. I used to wait tables at this little place and marry forks. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, sure yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Move along, buddy, ah, move Corporal. along. Man of the hour. Sergeant. Hello, Corporal. Sergeant, how's it going? Okay, then. Corporal? All right, take care. Hey, Corporal, how's life? So, hey, D, I've got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, 
I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns.com. Oh, Jesus, holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out of the way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. I guess this is about as out of the way as it gets. I guess it is at that, huh? Oh, yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. Big spender. There you go. Oh, yeah. Upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, Corporal. You stay out of trouble, you hear me? Hey, Corporal. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, no, I, I didn't mean nothing. I just... Just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit? Yeah, we'll show some respect. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I I didn't mean nothing. Uh, Corporal, see ya. Corporal, what's happening? Hey, Sarge. Come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. I was furious. Yeah, I'll bet. I was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Watch. Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what Radio me if you do. And Corporal. Copy that. St. John out. Okay. Colonel, reporting in. Oh, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. Not this fair trial tomorrow. Then that will hang in the dusk. Fair trial? Oh! Fair trial. You can't hold him in! So, uh, what were you saying? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then, a fair hanging by the neck until dead. Uh, yes. Fair trial. Then, uh, right. Anyway, just reporting in. St. John. Free Oregon. The truth 
she'll set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy, and most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Hello, squatter campers. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine. Get out of here, I'm out of here. One of our friends has a seat on the security council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. Yeah. They need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Drifters, you ambushed down there, huh? It's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah. Here's the hatch. Yeah. Now you had one. What's this? A map? Notes? Yeah, okay. What do we got here? How to craft the... Okay, yeah, okay.
I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. <laughs> yeah, you too. Deer crossing. Well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey. Call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you. For helping me out. Man, look, I'm just following orders.
gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. There's another one. Time to burn. Get in there. There's another nest. Let's burn it up. Is it? Which way? <sighs> You're mine now.
Taylor. It's Deacon St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hate me. St. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done, we never Leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well? When we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Sarge. Repairs. Okay. Corporal St. John, uh, Deke. See you around. Deke! Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. 
Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Corporal St. John. Sarge, you avoiding those wooden nickels? Corporal, you come back in one piece, all right? Do you think freaks remember anything? Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Fucking Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. 
You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on! So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well... I don't know what she put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up.
We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figure that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look. Two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, and my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that. That did it.
There we go. Hurry, please! Please just tell me that's all of them. I can't believe it. You did it. You wiped out an entire horde. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Yeah. something out of this. <sighs> we did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. <sighs> the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey! How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Sorry, Lieutenant, but you're out of a job. Hell, you're at work. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're going to celebrate tonight. The office is mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm going to catch up with you. I got I to gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... Irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... been, uh... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Eddie's captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. 
Yes, ma'am. St. John. Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Hurry out. Important project? What project? Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant! Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm gonna have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I'm gonna need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests, gonna need Molotovs.